guys, today's tutorial is on the sweatproof summer look using all e.l.f. cosmetics. So first thing I always do is prep my skin, but not just with any primer. I purposefully use the e.l.f. poreless face primer first to get a nice smooth base for the foundation to lay on evenly, just because you know it really helps to fill in the lines that are around my forehead, eyes, mouth. Then, most important step here, to truly make sure that you are fully sweat proofing the makeup to last all day, you have to use this. It's the e.l.f. Oil Control Primer Mist. Spray this all over and let it sink into the skin for about 30 seconds. It is enriched with purified water, cucumber, and vitamins B and E so that it makes your skin feel nourished and refreshed, but at the same time, it also prevents excess oil production. So it's not meant to mattify skin that's already shiny. What it does is actually even cooler. It prevents shininess from ever happening in the first place. This is my go-to foundation from e.l.f. right here for everyday looks. It's the Flawless Finish Foundation. I have mine in nude. It gives honestly a really amazing radiant finish that doesn't feel like I'm wearing a ton of makeup. You know, it's very lightweight, pretty good coverage as well, especially with redness. And it has a semi matte finish, which is one of my personal favorite kind of finishes. I feel like it makes my skin look so much better than it really is, just much brighter and even all around. I actually already applied a sunscreen before this, but I believe this does have SPF in it as well. And it is oil free, which means it's less likely to break you out. I like to put the product on with my fingers first to distribute it over my face and and then I push it in gently with tapping motions all over using the e.l.f. highlighting sponge. I have this trick that I do for my eyes when I want my eyeshadows to stay through literally anything. I like to first put this Prime and Stay Finishing Powder in light over my eyelids and make sure that there's no creasing. And then I'll go in with the e.l.f. eyelid primer over top of that. So you're basically double priming. You double primed the face, double prime the eyes as well. We'll be using two eyeshadow palettes today. First eyeshadow is from this beautiful chromatic palette in Bird of Paradise. I'm applying this purpley mauve shade with a blending brush that actually comes with the palette, placing the shade in the center of the crease and then blending towards the inner corner and finally back to the outer corner with whatever is left on the brush. And when you finish blending, try using a very light hand, you know, light pressure to sort of blend out any harsh edges there. Or you can switch over to a clean blending brush and do the same thing. With a bigger, fluffier brush, I'm now picking up this burnt orange shade, which is also insanely pigmented, by the way, and packing this into the outer corner of the crease to really help give more depth, color, dimension, and warmth to the eye look. I thought this was a really cool combination between this orange and then the cooler toned purple. Going in with another layer of this because I wanted this to be very intense and I am kind of slowly working it inwards but I'm keeping it more on the lower end so that way you can see the purple above it. I'm not sure if this is being sold anymore on the website but I do really love this if any of you happen to have it as well. It's a dual ended pencil so on one end is a shimmering pink and then on the other is like what I actually used as my lip liner for today. It's like a matte mauve kind of pink color. So I'm just putting this shimmery shade onto my lids, just drawing it on. It's very creamy, so you can actually just blend this out with your fingertip. And then afterwards, I'm gonna pack some more shadow on top of this, this time going in with the other eyeshadow palette in Posh Peacock. And we're just using that lightest shade from the palette, packing that on to really intensify the of brightness and the pigment of the eyeshadow. So now I'm going in with a very small blending brush and I'm focusing this gorgeous matte blue shade in the very outer corner of the eye and I'm not bringing this up any further than the purple or the orange that we used. I'm really just keeping this in the outer socket there, that outer V, and then just kind of swiping it outwards as if it was a winged eyeliner. And I am also putting this a little bit onto the outer corner of the lid as well, just kind of blending it back into that lid shade. And finally going back in just to blend out any harsh edges. 
For eyeliner, I went with this shimmering, sort of like grayish green shadow from the uh, Posh Peacock palette. And I'm just using a very tiny, very flexible angled brush here to apply this as my winged eyeliner. I do really love how soft this looks versus using a cream or a gel or even using a black eyeshadow. A little bit of that kind of gold champagne shade from the other palette in the inner corners of my eyes. And I'll be using these lashes today from e.l.f. It is the Lush Lash Kit in Winged and Polished, but first, before I apply lashes, I do like to curl my own, and then I like to use this mascara. It is sweat resistant, so it is not going to smear on you. I love the formula of this. I actually have worn this before through my workout and it literally never smears and it's like the blackest formula. It gives my natural lashes some nice volume and length. That way it actually makes the false lashes I put on um, look even better, like even more glam and dramatic than they would if I just put them on by themselves without anything on my lashes. I also noticed that my lashes stick better when I do the mascara first because it kind of gives my lashes a little tackiness and I don't know, it's just like the glue sits better on top of my lashes when they have mascara on them already. So if you ever have a problem with your lashes popping off throughout the day, definitely try that first. HD Lifting Concealer in Light, great for brightening the center of the face, incredibly creamy, and also hydrating. I apply it wherever I want brightness and coverage, so basically under the eyes, sides of the nose to cover darkness, then bridge of the nose, center of the forehead, and chin to highlight. I also mixed a little bit of the Perfect Blend Concealer in Light Beige, just for some more brightness, and because I'm kind of running out of my other one, the HD Lifting, I need to get another one of those. But I just tap this all in again with the e.l.f highlighting sponge just to help it all kind of sink into the skin. You could totally use your fingers for this, but I am honestly a huge fan of blending sponges. I think they do a much better job, especially when you're going for more coverage. I have been a very loyal fan to this product ever since it came out. It is part of my like official makeup collection that I keep in my vanity ready to use at all times. It's the Contouring Blush and Bronzing Cream in St. Lucia. It works amazingly for creating shadows wherever you want more depth, where you want things to sink in. So for me, I apply this on the outer corners of my face, working it mostly on the forehead, under the cheekbones, down the sides of the nose and the jawline. And again, I just pat this or tap this all in till it looks like it's fused with my foundation. Since this is it for all the cream products I wanted to use, I'm now gonna start going in with powder products. So to set the under eye concealer, you first wanna use your finger to blend out any eye creases under there, and then pat on your favorite powder. I'm using the Prime and Stay Finishing Powder in Light. And you guys can see how much of a huge difference this made when I put it on one side of my face versus the other. I mean, it is insane. This totally helps to control oil. Baked Blush in Los Cabos, I am so addicted to this. It's so beautiful because it has shimmers in it, but it's not too colorful or too pigmented or overwhelming. I mean, it looks so natural and it just gives you like a lit from within kind of glow. I applied this basically where I applied that contour cream just to kind of set it and really warm up my face. Totally not sold on the website anymore. This is like literally one of the oldest products I own from e.l.f. I still use it and love it though. It is the blush in Cabo Cabana. So then I'm using this light eyeshadow that we had used on the lid on our eyes from the Posh Peacock palette and putting that on as our highlight on top of the cheekbones, down the bridge of the nose and also a little bit on the cupid's bow and chin. And look what it did. Like seriously, that stuff is crazy pigmented. And it's cool because you can multitask with eyeshadows. You know, you don't only have to use them on your face. You can use them on, I mean, on your eyes. You can use them on your face too. So I am now just applying some shadows on the lower lash line. Just basically exactly what I did on the upper lid where we started with the purple, then the orange, a little bit of that shimmering pink pencil, and just kind of tapping on some of the highlight shade right in the center of the lower lash line. And finishing off with some mascara on the lower lashes. Okay, so for the lips, guys, I decided to go in with the other end of that pencil, which is like a mauve kind of 
medium pink shade. It's very close to my natural lip color. I did have a little foundation on my lips though, so that's why they look slightly lighter. I feel like when you have foundation on your lips, it works almost like as a primer, like it helps your lipstick to last longer. So I just put the lip pencil on, lined my outer lips with that, a little bit of the moisturizing lipstick in pink mink. I just tapped it on lightly. I didn't want too much color, just a little bit of pigment. And now I am using the Prismatic Lip Gloss in Rose Quartz, which is so beautiful. So. Lastly guys, you wanna set your makeup in place and you can also use the oil control primer mist from the very beginning of the video to do that. And that is it for the finished look. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think and thumb up this video if you want more like this. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.